to the Kent Lab Podcast. So very soon after the Ahmad Arbery was released, yeah. um, Lincoln, who's about to be 10, Jackson, who's about to be eight, um, uh, you know, I came home from work and then we, I brought them back here to the office and we stopped and got Chick-fil-A on the way mm-hmm. back here. I wanted to be like a, a I, w- I wanted to go out of the way and make it a thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like we're going to have a meeting, mm-hmm. but we got Chick-fil-A and I set them at the table and they were eating their Chick-fil-A and we had like a one hour meeting on, mm-hmm. um, what happened with Mr. Arbery. I drew it on the whiteboard, just some generals. I kept it very general. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, let them know that in my personal opinion, this guy would still be alive if his skin had been white. Mm-hmm. And if, pe- you know, and if people disagree with me, that's fine. Cause we can look at many, 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 many other examples of mm-hmm. how things would have been different if their mm-hmm. skin had been white. Mm-hmm. And so we had the conversation about they're white, they're boys, they're going to grow up, they have some responsibility here. Um, and, um, you know, that, that um, uh, you know, that night, Jackson, who's about to be eight, you know, he had a nightmare. But oh. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't feel too badly about that. Again, I kept it fairly general. Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason I don't feel too badly about that, because I can promise you he's not the only boy that had a nightmare Absolutely. based on mm-hmm. knowledge of that transaction or that mm-hmm. that murder. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm not trying to scar them. Certainly, I'm not trying to scare them even. I'm just I'm I just I'm 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 going to kind of taking the approach like I would with sex, I guess, is Mm -hmm. instead of one big talk, we're going to open the conversation and we're going to have plenty of talks, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, Is that something that that you would maybe think is maybe not a horrible idea or maybe that's a good idea that other people can be doing with their kids whenever they think it's appropriate? Maybe it's not 8 and 10. Maybe it's later on. Um, Is something like that helpful? I think it's completely helpful and it's consistent with Scripture. If I think about um, Galatians 16, bear one another's burdens. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, there are tons of boys, I'm sure, children um, who, and especially black boys maybe, who also like maybe had nightmares or were oh, freaked 100%, out. Mothers 100%. who had nightmares, fathers, sisters, people thinking about yeah. their loved ones just completely freaked out. And it's been the case since back and back and back, right? Um, so in that sense, by you kind of entering in, in that sense to, um, to that experience, even though it was not intentional, not saying to give your children nightmares, right. of course, but to say, Hey, the way that we will sit down and talk with our families and our children to just be like, this is, this is what has happened in the world. Here's why it's wrong. Here's what we can do. Um, here's how to process it. That's for someone who called himself, um, a brother or sister in faith, that's, I think consistent with what scripture calls y'all mm-hmm. to do. And I know for me, it makes me feel loved and mm-hmm. seen and appreciated and kind of hopefully then puts um, your sons in a position too. If um, as part of your teaching, as well as like, if they hear someone saying something crazy, just being like, wait, that's not true rather than right. it going unchecked right. or being, you know, letting the laugh get in there because that's more important. And then these things kind of um, grow rather than be, um, be called out for the lies that they are or the called out for the problems that they are. And yes. so those kind of conversations, I would say absolutely are the right type of thing to do. And yeah. I'm grateful for like people like you guys who sure. are doing that. Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you more. And that doesn't happen if my white brothers and sisters as parents are not training their children in that. Right. right. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. 